Hello, Leah. Hi, Nick. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am doing very well, thank you. It's nice to see you. I know it's fun. Instagram live. <laughs> um, so I'll just introduce this session. Hi, I am Nicholas, and this session is all about virtual internships. Um, we have Leah joining us today to hear about her experience. So if you've got any questions at all, please post them in the chat and we'll pick them up at the end. So hi, Leah, could you please introduce yourself and let us know what you're studying? Hello, everyone. My name is Leah and I am studying international studies and politics. And I'm in my third year, so my final semester. At the minute. Amazing. Uh, so Leah, could you, you took part in a virtual internship. What exactly is a virtual internship? Okay, good question. Um, so prior to the pandemic, there was obviously lots of internship opportunities for people to take part in. And an internship was basically sort of more formal kind of work experience that you would have done at school. Um, it's more of a fixed opportunity that you'll do with a firm. And they will kind of use you as a sort of employee. Sometimes you're paid, sometimes you're not. Mm -hmm. And they'll give you lots of tasks to do. Um, in that sense, so then virtual internship is basically just that transferred onto an online platform. So with the pandemic, a lot of firms and companies just kind of transferred their programs onto an online system. So a lot of the tasks and things are largely the same, but you're kind of working over like Microsoft Teams and Zoom and doing a lot more sort of digital things for them as well. Okay, brilliant. What made you decide to do a virtual internship? Yeah, um, well, throughout my time at Queen's, I was always been just looking for opportunities and things that I can do because there's so many things available to you, so you might as well make the most of it. So I decided that a virtual internship would probably be best for last year just because of COVID. Um, it was kind of uncertain knowing if you'd be able to get out somewhere or get away. So it was nice to know that with the virtual internship, nothing was going to kind of change it that you'd be able to just sit on your laptop in your house and it was pretty flexible with any of my other summer plans as well and um, because it was online I could sort of work my own plans around it um, and that's one of the good things about it is that it's so flexible as well. Oh, that's brilliant. What did your internship involve specifically? I was doing an internship with a charity called Think Pacific so they're a charity based in Fiji and um, they basically work with partnership organizations in Fiji. So the likes of um, the government, the health ministry, they have partnerships with other charities that work in Fiji. Um, so they basically run projects and there's opportunities for people to go out to Fiji and do teams there. Uh, but their virtual internship was basically a chance for interns to come on board to select a charity that they're partnered with and to work with them to develop an action project. Um, so there was a lot of different projects you could choose from and different tasks within those projects to complete. So the internship basically was getting on board, finding your charity and choosing that yourself and then getting work on a project for them. So it was quite cool that it was actually real, you know, like it's based on real people and yeah. real as well. That's amazing. How long did your internship last? Mine was four weeks. The way their program works is that you can do a four week, eight week or a 12 week program, but um, it's basically the same content. It just kind of depends how quickly you want to do it. So if I was to have done the 12 week one, it would have been things, but just over a longer mm -hmm. period, that makes sense. So I just kind of condensed it and got it done in four weeks, but it could be a longer or shorter option if you wanted to as well. Absolutely. So with working online, would you say there was much support for you? Yeah, I'd say so. Um, because they were quite, they were kind of one of the first sort of charities and things to start these virtual internships with the pandemic. So they were very conscious of that, I think. And they made an effort to have calls and everyone was assigned a mentor so that if there was anything that you needed, you could just message them and chat to them and get some help especially with like IT support and things. If you weren't really certain of what you were doing, you could sort of get some help from that end. And they also had lots of like social calls. So they would encourage you to kind of reach out to other interns and to set up little Zoom calls with them to communicate. 
and they ran sort of culture sessions and like fun social things in the evening that you could join in as well. Um, and I think they were just quite conscious of the fact that although you weren't getting the full experience of being in Fiji, they tried to make it as enjoyable and kind of supportive as possible. So it did feel like you were actually getting to know people um, and communicating with people too. That's amazing. So you'd say that you got the chance to work with others? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, we were sort of assigned a mentor, as I said, and within that then there was a group of us who had the same mentor. So then we were able to communicate within that group. We sort of set up a little group chat and we organized our own calls outside of that as well to um, communicate and to work alongside. So we were able to kind of bounce ideas off each mm -hmm. other talk about what we were doing in our projects too. Very, very good. What would you say you enjoyed the most about that experience? Um, I enjoyed it. I loved it so much. There were so many things about it. Uh, for me, I think the thing that still stands out now, like nearly a year on from it, is probably just uh, like learning about Fiji and learning about the culture. It's such an amazing place. And like they have such a different culture to hear. They're just so much more loving and sharing and caring for each other compared to what we are. So I think that's the really amazing thing about it is that you don't just go in and do something for them. You actually come away learning about the culture, learning about mm -hmm. the community, and you feel like that's something that's actually been a worthwhile experience as well. So that was probably my favorite part was getting to know a bit more about Fiji, getting to find out about the culture and like all those unique things that you kind of can't mm -hmm. just from a little Google search or something. Oh, that, that sounds amazing. That sounds incredible. Did you feel like you made a difference in any way? Yeah, so what I was saying before was sort of that it's, you know, working with real charities in Fiji. So that automatically makes you feel like you are working with a real life organization that's actually going to help them. So for my project, I was able to do a social media strategy for a charity in Fiji. And they can use that however way that, whatever way they want. But, you know, at the end of the day, your project does get sent back to them and you know that it's going to have some sort of impact on them. And so that's the really amazing thing about it is that it's not just a piece of work that's going to be stored in like some random database, but it's actually going back to a real charity that will hopefully affect people in Fiji in a positive way as well. Absolutely. What would you say was your biggest challenge? Um, I think the biggest challenge for me was probably kind of wishing I was actually in Fiji whenever you're sitting in your little room. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes like they were, we would watch little videos and it was off, you know, the amazing beaches and mm. the love Fijian landscape. And sometimes hard to think, oh, like I wish I was actually there and getting that experience. But I think that again, just helped you to kind of see the benefits of doing it virtually and how you know, we were still able to make those connections and still able to get a feel for the culture, even though we weren't there. Mm -hmm. So a nice thing to do, like in the middle of the pandemic, when you knew you just couldn't travel in a way, but it was sort of as well, because <laughs> I kind of wanted to be somewhere. <laughs> nice. yeah, absolutely. What, what skills would you say that you developed? Um, the biggest skills probably for me were sort of time management and like independent working because you sort of took on the project yourself and worked on it kind of on your own time scale, pretty flexible. There was nobody really like chasing up on you saying, okay, you need to have this much done by this date, this much done next week. So it was a lot of using your own initiative to kind of mm -hmm. get, in. so that really helped me to develop that and to kind of keep a check on myself to make sure that I was kind of up to speed on what I was doing and that I didn't leave it all to the last minute. So that definitely helped me with being just more of an independent worker. Oh, okay. Amazing. Would you recommend um, the virtual internship to students? Definitely, 100%. Um, I learned a lot about even just working on a virtual sense, which is useful for going into jobs. Because uh, a lot of jobs are now going to be like fully hybrid. So they'll be working from home. So it's good to even get an idea of what that's like. And as well as that, just being able to meet and connect with people at an internship is really valuable especially the one with Think Pacific there's people from all over the world doing it so you can make friends from all corners of the world and you're sitting in your room so it's a good way to challenge yourself and maybe if you're not certain about going away or 
kind of apprehensive about leaving the country you can literally just try it out by sitting in your room and seeing if that's something for you so it's good to kind of push yourself but if you're a bit wary of maybe traveling post-covid it's a great way to kind of experience things in a virtual mm -hmm. sense oh. now that sounds amazing do you have a bit of advice you'd give future participants um i think just to push yourself just to not go in with a kind of any pre kind of ideas of what it's going to be like but to be ready to kind of adapt to whatever they throw at you and they do try and get you to set your own goals and targets and things so just being open to that and actually open to kind of allowing to help you develop a bit more um, and not just kind of going in with an idea of how you want it to go what things you want to do but being ready to kind of try out new things and to be challenged as well absolutely that's brilliant advice thank you do you have any final reflections? Oh, I don't know. Um, just, yeah, to make the most of those opportunities because there's so many with Queens that you just maybe get an email about and you don't really read it. But if you take another look, you might see that it's a great opportunity and a great way to kind of get experience to do something while you can, when, while you're still a student as well. Absolutely. Thank you so, so much, Leah, for your time. We really enjoyed chatting with you. Um, uh, thank you, of course. Um, so if anybody has any, want to find out any more information, you can check out our session on the 16th of February. And you can also check out our events page, which is go.qub.ac.uk forward slash careers events. Thank you so much. Lovely. See you thank soon, Mia. See you soon. Bye.